Hi, I'm Jamie Stratton. I'm from beautiful Seattle, and I'm a clothing and costume designer. <sighs> Just a little tour of my closet. From here on this rack, we have costumes. Um, or day wear. No, I'm just kidding. And then this is my uh, everyday wear assortment of clothing. I first started sewing when I was 18. Um, I wouldn't call that designing yet because I was really just making skirts out of pillowcases and, you know, school bags. I love this little pantsuit. This is great for summer. This was from last season. This is that same jumper, but in blue and red, a little bit more spicy for those ladies that love a lot of color. I started creating some one-of-a-kind pieces for some local shops in town, and then it sort of branched into more and more shops where eventually I opened my own retail location, and I had a really, really good time with it. I've been so obsessed with capelets, 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 and I made this out of some fabric I found at a thrift store, and boy, am I obsessed with yellow. So yellow capelet lined with this really crazy fun, I don't know, woven material from a thrift store. I'm sure it's a poly blend, you know. But, and then this is a version of a little yellow trench, not trench coat, a little yellow jacket that I made, again, from fabric from a thrift store. Boy, you can just really find the best stuff. My particular design aesthetic is very retro sci-fi. I love retro sci-fi. As much as I can do it, I will. I can do everything from shoes to clothing, handbags. This is one of the, my favorite handbags I've ever made. I love it so much because it's like jewelry. You can wear it with a simple black dress and you look like you have your, your showpiece. Plus, it holds a lot of crap like a really ugly brown umbrella and flyers for shows and sparkly red things. <laughs> Shoes, they're very important. One thing that every girl should have for this summer is a pair of wedges, oh yes. Not only do they hold you up on a soggy lawn, and we know what Dolly Parton says about heels on a soggy lawn, never to do it. This is where I make all of the glamorous things for all my clients and for myself and for all my friends and family. And I love it. My umbrella broke and I didn't really know what to do with it, but I was looking in the mirror and I thought it might make a really amazing hat. I love undergarments. It sounds like a rain stick. If I can do this, I can make a bra and panty set that any woman would want to buy. This would be a garment that best represents my particular style. It's tailored, it has structure, it's really curvy with a woman's body. You may ask, how would this translate into something that would be a ready-to-wear piece for, for mass production or to be sold in a department store? For me personally, what I would do for mass production is I would probably cut it short, make it gray, and instead of putting a sort of stiff fabric in here. You might keep the same style line. You could easily just translate this into just a piece of um, sequin, kind of draped there without the stiff part. I love the idea of having, instead of maybe for a ready-to-wear look version of this, you'd have a mandarin collar or some sort of collar that came up. So kind of flowing the same way that this collar would, but less stiff and sturdy. And then of course, um, keeping the long sleeve and perhaps adding the same sort of sequiny drape detail on the side here. And so then you have a look that's very, very, very reflective of this <laughs> reflective dress. I do love an exposed zipper. This one has a gold exposed zipper to mirror the, um, the gold on the inside here. And I would definitely, definitely keep a gold exposed zipper in the ready to wear version of this. My vase of mustache. Are you a brunette? Or are you a blonde? <laughs> yeah, I mean, maybe one day that would be kind of the goal of life, is to just be the next Betsy Johnson, really. 
and just have my, you know, when you walk into a boutique, you see the shoes, the jewelry, the handbags, the perfume, the cosmetics, and the hair. Why not? I mean, gosh, I would make wigs. I mean, I make wigs anyway. So <laughs> it's just a one-stop shop for all that you need to be the most fabulous version of you. Like my vase eau de moustache. Does that mean smell of moustache? I don't know. <laughs> Here, we'll do that again. Here you go, Ruby. <laughs>